Yay, top eight. Hey, hypers. Yeah, I have brought myself a celebratory beer, but it's alcohol free. Okay, so things we will uh, do differently in uh, the finals. In the, top, in the top eight draft, as we read the cards. So I guess we're being passed by finite. I'm a little bit nervous now, actually. This really feels different than just having one draft. Okay. I don't know what that card did. I have to read. Okay, so when it deals combat damage to a player, we draw a card. Okay, and then it can transform into. Just a 4 4. Giving trample. Nah. I think I will just go with Infernal Grasp. Thank you very much. <coughs> this is a good card, but Infernal Grasp is, I believe, just better. Leaving me much more open. We'll have a quick screenshot of this to maybe figure out what cards are going. I would be extremely happy to see Awakener come back, but it's unlikely. Interloper also unlikely. This is also not a bad card. So there's a lot of good black cards in here. Good red. It's just a good pack. So it's just blue is a bit weak. It would be interesting if all blue cards disappear, for example. Okay. Are we offering any reds? Eradicate. Yes. Nice. More removal. Very, very nice. Matsu Trap Sniper is decent red offering. Uh, permanent. Yeah, okay. I'm probably not offering any red, so it's no way it's to pick. But if it comes back, I might think about it again. Um, this pack has not too much to offer anyway. We can be super happy we get an eradicate here. Um, Tribe Sniper is a very, very good card against flyers. Good sideboard card. Maybe even good enough to main deck. Because it basically shuts down two big flyers. And kills small, like one toughness flyers as well, so it's a really effective sideboard card. Yeah, but I'm feeling very, very fortunate to have first picked the removal spell and to another removal spell. Being sorcery is a bit worse, but it's still a good, good spell. Okay. Rolling Tremlor is interesting. Is it better than Forbidden Alchemy? I really like Forbidden Alchemy. But there's many other people who don't like it as much as me. I do like Think Twice as well. I think that's what it what it's between. I think I will take this Rolling Tremlor. And if the sack outlet from our pick one, pack one, if this Ecstatic Awakener wields, then maybe this Traitorous Blood will wield. Um, so we're setting up ourselves for an interesting control build, I think. I think it's, it's good to have this early build around it. Maybe I should have taken the white card. This is just also very, very solid. Um, it just black and white so often don't really go together that well. Okay, this is a pretty weak pack. Uh, Death Spark though is pretty good. Um, I need to read up. I need to read this rare and then I need to read up how this works again. But I remember it being pretty good. It's one toughness hit. Brainstorm is reasonable, but it's really hard to make work. And this um, gives us pumps a small creature. It's not bad, but it dies when when uh, that creature dies, so that's a bit risky. A three damage. Okay, and this now. Uh, okay, it's just black and blue hate. Um, so yeah, it's death spark for me. So let's read how it exactly works again. Okay, so it would work well if we do some some sacrifice stuff. 
Um, do we want? No, I don't think that. I think that's too bad. I think the Kabu could be okay. I can't block though. It would be a very aggressive card. Um. Yeah, do we want that? three mana ramps just so bad? I think there's a, no, still a decent enough chance that we will be aggressive, at which point this would be playable. Obviously this card is a bit of a nightmare, but yeah. Okay. Scuttle tide. I think it is pretty good. What else do we have? This is a very weak pack for the strong set. Could take something for a blue splash here. So this was Shuffle of Thorns. You own. So just really wants you to have a lot of. Permanent, and we're not set up for that. I think it's Scuttle Tide. I think that card could really do a lot of work. Maybe Nested Champler if we're going more into the Sacrifice theme, but we don't have much for that yet, so I'm just taking the stronger card on face value. There's a decent counter spell. What did this do? Descry, then draw. Okay. Scry to draw one. Black's being a bit cut currently. The blue red seems reasonably open though. This is not bad giving flying and but I'm taking the distance for stroke. I think I might I'm, I'm maybe supposed to be in blue here. Okay, it's a lot of readers again. Ugh, okay, not really. Um, wild creature persist. Mm, removing minus one, minus one card is probably also not really happening. Oof, this is just really not good. Um. I so unlikely we go mono black. Yeah. Okay, nah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so from our original pack, both blue cards are back. Devious cover up. It's really cool for uh, like shuffling stuff in. This is a good aggressive card in black. Um, how many black cards are gone? It's one, two black cards are gone. Red three cards have been gone, so I think maybe we should just be blue and take the cover up that will let us recycle through our stuff. Okay, um, I guess this is an onboard. If we really, yeah, I think this is okay. Tapping or untapping a creature, like gives something basically vigilance while it's on the board like semi vigilance and maybe we will splash this rolling templar okay the blood did weird but i think we're never ever a blood deck so i'm passing that i'm taking the riot devils which we might maybe play if, yeah so I think we should be in, in, in blue, black, and maybe we'll splash red. Ah, oh, that's pretty bad. Snow plane's probably not worth it. Okay, let's let's take this destroying card, so maybe. Um Yeah, it's just something can't block and then we draw. Um this is not an unplayable card. Um when you are not affecting the board that much, 
it's relatively likely that you will be able to bounce something um, of your opponent. Maybe that's... Yeah, we're never searching for tomorrow. Glimpsing for tomorrow. Oh, that's interesting. That might be worth a... Spl no, maybe if we're splashing for black in the end. Double splashing would be a bit hard, but... Okay. Um, expensive red card. Two damage target creature, three damage another, four damage to a third creature. I think that is worth it. So that means black probably is the splash. That means that Deathspark is probably in and maybe Riot Devils. And the Redicate is maybe out. But this is really worth taking. Over Clutch of Currents, which is a good card. Tightening Coils, also interesting enough. Yeah. Okay, this is pretty insane for us. Mm. Unholy Heat is amazing. But I think Storm God's Oracle is even better. And I do not think we can risk taking this and not wheeling this. I, this might be wrong and I'm very happy to hear what anybody is thinking about this uh, even after the fact. If you're watching the VOD, you can DM me. Rough pick. I really hope this bridge comes back, but I don't know. We will see. All right, that's a very good card. I need to read this one though. Interesting. I really hope we won't get boiled, but this might happen. But Orc Artillery is an amazing pickup. It works well with the cards we already have. It's just so good. Also cool with teardrop Kami. Scoot mob. Tempting to splash that. <coughs> it's really a must answer threat. Really splashable. As versus a wrap in flames. Stoic creek battle. Can we manage to splash that and Infernal Grasp? And we don't have any fixing yet, so I kind of doubt it. And we can handle it well ourselves, so I guess we're not taking that. So I guess it leaves us with Gutshot. Not sure if that was the correct pick. Okay, this is now getting a bit dicey. The good cards are all green. The black cards are double black. Tolarian Sentinel is not really doing it. It is a flying blocker in a pinch. I think I'm hate picking this. I'm not playing anything else here, I think. Maybe I'm splashing it? I doubt it though. Okay, this is good. Creature spells costing more doesn't matter that much to us. Oh, Ingenious Scarp is a very good blocker though, and we kind of need that. Prowess is very good for us. It's nice with the spark and the gut shot. <coughs> Scarecrow would be playable in our deck, though. Um, that sucks. Historic spells getting cheaper. This is not historic. We don't have any of those. It still might be a 2-2 flyer for us here. 
it really sucks getting this pack this late. These cards are all not what we need. Hidden stockpile is an absolute nightmare to play again. Two two fly is just not so good. Yeah, I'm hate I'm hating the stockpile. Okay, I do like the CS Lantern quite a bit. 3-2 block is okay. 1-3, that for the void. Oh, we will not have the void mana. So the CS Lantern is really good. Helps us cast this. Um, scrying is nice. I think it's, it's it fits our deck quite well. Maybe have those flashback this. Yeah, tightening coils. Okay. Don't. I haven't figured out yet how we are winning the game. Like, a few flyers would be. Actually, yeah, maybe I should have just taken this 2 2 flyer. <laughs> Not that I'm saying that I want flyers. Okay, what this one? Returned instance or sorceries and then buy a little time. I mean, that's okay. Yeah. But no uh, tapped land fixing coming back to us here. Is that ever good for us? I doubt it. Maybe. This is a winding source, an artifact. Probably won't matter, so we'll just take this. Not so great combo trick. Do get our flying blocker. <coughs> this one. No, not playable. Well, that's a sideboard card at least. Oh, this card sucks. Okay, yeah, this is quite bad. Uh huh, uh huh. I guess we're playing a barbed sextant. It does help with the scuttle tide a bit, and it does help with the infernal grasp, and maybe. Yeah, let's just take this and not look back. <laughs> I mean, this Kaldoran Cal Elite Guard is pretty good, but not for us. Okay, Trophy Mage, getting a Sears Lantern, not that great. Scrap Trawler, not really doing much. Wow, this really sucks. Um, I guess we're taking the implement of examination and then if we're wheeling the trophy mage we can probably play it that's the line i think could be a 3-3 manas but i think i like the card draw okay gush at least lets us draw cards again Well, we have so few creatures. <laughs> Very unlikely one of them is a mercenary. I mean, you could take this mercenary trying to wield this, but black is really not where it's at right now. Cut purse also is a bit too shitty. Gush is pretty sure the pick, even though five mana draw two is not great and the other cost also not great, but 
Yeah, not a strong pack. Okay, it's a 3 3 that also helps us splash. I think I like that. Not taking another splash card and the gate is also down, further down the list, so. I really wonder how blue is suddenly like feeling a bit cut. Felt like it should have been open. Obliterate. Do we have any anything that stays? <laughs> no. Well, we have a scuttle tide. It will stay in play. That's cute. Guess we're taking a shatter for the side. <sighs> Ether Mage getting us nothing. Okay, then I guess it's a Fomori Nomad, which will be our win condition. Triple Red, can we ever do that? Green splash for the Kavu, maybe. So late for this to be here. Ah, this is again should be a good pack, and we're just getting nothing. So I feel like I really misread the signals pack one. But yeah, I think I might want to splash for a Kavu Primark, eight mana play. Oh, that felt so bad. Let's cut that quickly. Ooh, Wuburg, and we're getting artifacts to play. This implement is cool, but maybe Etched Oracle. We do have at least two sources that could get this to four. Then it's, yeah, yeah, maybe. This card. Uh, yes, okay, now we have this sucky pack. Maybe? If we need to, I mean, cover up should mostly be enough to cover up, return, cover up. Shuffle in. Yeah, I think we are. We already have a, a loop in here. <coughs> okay, we did get back our trophy mage, so that's nice. Having two targets for it makes it a uh, playable. I think this is a bit too narrow. And I think eradicate on the double splash is sadly not happening. Um, I don't think I ever want that as artifact hate. So we do have a few artifacts ourselves. This, this more one toughness hate. We do have a bit of that already though. People are underrating Spirit Link. You can't just play it on your opponent's. Or is it another one? No, no. You can play it on your opponent's creature to basically fog it forever. Yeah, we're not taking bridge. Okay, this is a. Not great, but okay. Resort, I think. Uh, is one swamp the correct number that it's three sources? No, I think I will go up one further. Maybe it's just an 18 land deck. Blue 
blue sauce. Das ist double blue. Das ist double red earlier though. Yeah. It's not great. Okay. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Set myself up a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Oh, very slow. On the draw, I think I'm running in this. This is much better, and I put away the five drop. Okay, that's a Scary card, but we do have a little bit of a sideboard against it. Holding open the ten for stroke, probably not worth it against it's just three mana next turn, likely, most likely. Punished. <laughs> Shit, that card will probably just kill me. Okay, at least I can attack back. Taking five a turn from that will <coughs> be problematic. I mean, I have a decent double block on it soonish so yeah really funny though that uh, the sample stroke would have caused something and this really doesn't do anything yet okay we're just taking three that's good bad news i don't know <coughs> five per turn is just such a clean clock that i feel like i'm okay with not Equipping and something getting played here. Okay, that's scary. Um, this would be a. Yeah, we will need to play this one. That's a very scary card as well. Oh, a removal spell would... No, it wouldn't completely blow me out. So, I just double block here if there's a removal spell on the freebooter then I can still spend my treasure to kill the werewolf
think I ah, I need lands as well as board presence. I don't know. I think I'll keep this in hand for now. Likely double block here. And okay. Yes. We'll just take four a turn for now. Attack with this. I need to start dealing a little bit of damage. Maybe I should have pumped a bit. But now with one discard, this will give me two types, which will allow this to block here. Don't check, I think I'm fine. Oh yeah, yeah, it's really scary, but Okay, that's just a one one against me mostly. I think it is just a one one, that's therefore fine. I think I'm discarding this now. Does this really help? I guess kinda. But if I'm playing this now, I cannot tap this. Ay ay ay. Okay, so this is. I will, I will lose. Well, I will lose. Yeah, that's still what I have to do. I was just so dumb. I somehow thought this is aftermath. So discard this.
think that's still was still a decent play, but for the wrong reasons. Now I need to draw an answer for Orchard Spirit. Maybe you want to re-equip somewhere? No? Uh, this means less outs for me. Okay, this is not one. Gorilla Shaman? That's just one card though. It's a very hard to beat card, however. That can block at least. Yeah, let's put this in for cover up. It's kind of the game plan, though. Maybe etched oracle. Yeah, the card's a bit awkward. Steel Sabotage would have been interesting as well, but it's just having se just seen one artifact. Let's play first this time. This is a keep. It's not amazing, but with a sextant, we do have tightening coils. An early artillery is very good, and even especially when it's backed up by the gut shot. So, I feel like this could be okay. Draw the shaman. I will play it out also. Might attack in for some damage. What? They're playing the carapace into. I don't know. I don't understand that, but maybe I should have still played the artillery. <coughs> but I'm this card. I'm very afraid of this card, and if I play this and then this gets removed, then I'm looking probably done. Yeah. Okay. Fine by me. No land drop, sadly, but we can use this for the black mana for the grasp now. If something too big is coming down, otherwise, we start shooting the artillery. Okay, I'm very happy I will get to. Oh, ah! Aha, uh -huh, okay, okay, maybe the. Yeah, yeah, they wanted to trick me with this one, I guess. Good, I just did it main phase. That would have been quite the punish. I found a land, which is very nice. I 
think I will just do this now. Let's say go. Now we're sitting real pretty here. Okay, I guess the shatter is coming in. Yeah, play it this, play it slow. Hmm. I think that one will get the gut shot uh, how do you call it treatment Play the land, the Fomori Nomad. Don't think I want to spend my life points on shooting the Primal Druid. If they equip it first, and then it blocks this, and then I shoot it, then I'm, I'm actually fine with it. Not the end of the world. Would have liked to scry, but <coughs> well, I guess that means we don't need the sextant anymore. So we basically have a five, like kind of hidden five turn clock here. So I would sack this in their turn. Um, so I have my card available next turn. I mean, it might need, might need it for double blue, but I, I just have one double blue spell, I believe. Just a devious cover up and yeah, I want, avail want this card available next turn. I don't think I need to shoot that either yet. OK. 
Okay. Okay, these are pretty good cards. Yeah. Top, top. I guess the Rottweiler will get shot sooner or later. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I will kill this. But end of turn, I guess, is the... Okay, if I block, block, then this gets pumped and this gets pumped. Then I shoot this, these trade. I don't really want that. I think I will just. Let those two trade. Yeah, that's okay. And they can sacrifice the treasure to give me an additional. So I could now shoot this. And then my turn shoot this would deal me maybe nine damage do I mind this dying not really so yeah this is fine Snap is a little bit annoying, but I guess I should attack first always, but it doesn't matter that much. Okay, so I could shoot them, meaning that they have to jump, but I think I don't need to. Okay, next giant is cheaper. Sadly, we don't have the blue mana for the devious color up, otherwise I would feel really good about this. Um, yeah, I just attack both.
have to compensate this probably. Okay. How do we do this? Shatter comes in. These equipments are a problem. Uh, out goes the game plan. It's too slow anyway. That's a keep. That is a keep. Jotvala. Am I blocking that with my gorilla shell? I think I am. Might be a mistake. But this will deal me a lot of damage if I don't block here. And this wants me to have a lot of life. So we are blocking. Not playing Titan Calls on that. Next turn we have the Orcs, then we'll block. Mm. Oh, well, that was the cam dying, and therefore also my. Chat dying. I guess I'll remove it here as well. Sorry about that. Okay, this doesn't attack, so that's very good. And now we block here because I am afraid of this. producing mana okay, and we do get a nice trophy now I think I want the card draw and now I think we are looking pretty good I don't think I want to trade my trophy made for one of those idiots. I think I will block one and shoot the other. Okay, no attacks. I like to see that. Play this and we keep open the grasp. I guess I could pull up the chat on my other phone. Draw two. That's pretty good. Don't need it right now, but it's pretty good. Okay, it's also pretty good. Now we can play it real slow. Ooh. 
don't even need that yet, right? Yes, we just play this really slowly now. We have this well under control. I should have kept that in hand for the scuttle tide. Um, actually, I will draw the card now. I could draw the counter spell, and having that in hand would further shore up this position. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So let's go for gold. don't really want this to happen. Because this is my clock. You get your land. And then we can start attacking. And there's one turn where we don't have the spa uh, the, the cover up up cover up up cover up up. Well that's the turn where they resolve this boy. I guess I could trembler it. But also have it covered with this. So we can do Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll offer this trade. Um Four mana plus three mana, so I could pump once. Yeah, I guess fine. No point in attacking here. Like there's this equip like there's a two the world where there's a two toughness creature being played and then equipped that other don't have to counter and uh, 
I might otherwise have to counter. So there's a four four. It's a menace, dude. It's a bit annoying. Do I want to cover up that? Um, four minus, yeah. No, it's fine. This can resolve. So we can. this Guess we're getting sudden shocked now. Yeah, that's fine. We play a land again, and we have to counter up. Asp is fine, you can have it. So we'll not attack here. Sorry for this coming down to time, but ooh, this is a great hand. Keep. Okay, seems a bit more controlling over there. Uh, maybe not. So, should we just. I think I will just tremble all that. What is the chance something else gets played into it? Ah, uh, good enough chance. I'm willing to go for the greedy line. Taking three damage, having getting something exiled. Maybe I'm not even trading. Like maybe they they are not willing to trade, and we don't have to take the damage.
Yeah, we're taking the damage. Yeah, okay, that getting excited is not very relevant. We would have the giant this time. That says flying. But we can stop it from having flying. I will not trade, so I will attack. Uh, I'm not sending a message, I guess. <laughs> Molten in exile, that's good for us. And then next turn we tremble, there's almost no other way. Yeah, that's that's something else that dies to it. And so is this. Oh boy. Whoo! Baby! Get tricked! <laughs> what a lord! And this thing is even tapped, so I guess I'm attacking. What a jolly good turn that was. That is Fine, if I draw a land, it's just dead. Don't draw a land, but can we just trophy mage. Getting our implement. Um, not that one I'm less fond of. Can we just block here since this spot just die? I guess not then. Um, we could gush and kill those two. Could also just develop the nomad. I like killing them. Okay, I'll set up for Oracle. Oh wow, that deck is very weak to what I'm doing over here. I think it's Nomad time. That should probably keep this back because he wants to block like this and then when the board's growing we can at some point spike him. Okay, I guess that happens. Yeah, I'm not not too worried about this yet. Tight. We 
discard lantern and orc? no I don't anyway this is pretty good I want don't want to take more damage from this and I want to have it not attack so that the board fills up I don't want a bunch of tradesies. Ooh, that is very nice because the strike will. Nice, 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 nice. I don't think I need this. Well, we, we don't have to make them now, now. Now I'm one mana off from the spike. So I will not block this, I will take that damage and hope that then something else gets developed to the board. Yeah. It's a bit awkward. Ah, uh, now it's not awkward anymore. Now we really need to find that land. That's not a land, but still very good. Nice. Okay, perfect. This should end the game. Two, three, four. Whew. Blowouts over blowouts. Yeah, that's a decent comeback, I guess. Let's make some fancy plays. We will be discarding. I guess I don't make fancy plays. It's not worth it. Um, It's not only fancy, it's just also good. I discard this. I cast said on this card. means that I will be getting back the death spark
compute. Actually, I just still just have a good attack with those. Should have played the Bard Saxon also to. Well, maybe not. This is representing. Uh, maybe I should have. Sure. Do you want to regenerate? Yeah. Um, willing to trade for these, I guess. All right, it took quite a few blowouts to actually get through this, but I think we are really well set up for this matchup. Um, yeah, I feel like we're having our sideboard cards in the main deck maybe the digger would be actually cool but we do have already the the loop de loops so i keep this i mean i can cast this and this but yeah let's see if we are drawing a mountain here so i think i just kill this now Okay, now we can do this. Um, uh, island. Maybe not island, but this is pretty good. I want mountain, not island. Then we play the riot devils. Having this right after this is a bit dicey, so we're really incentivized to play this soon. That is annoying. And we do have a block for it, but Island okay here suddenly. Captain's clause is really annoying. But I mean, it's just dealing three per turn. We can block, so I will just play the trophy mage now. 
search for the last target and also tag. Sadly, we cannot shoot it like that. So, yeah, this will let us cast artillery, which will kill that. And I think I would just prevent a bit of damage with a trophy mage because this will deal me damage and then <coughs> I mean this can basically train one but without dealing me additional damage soonish I st ah, still should have attacked because this can block the one one that was a mistake But this might die to the rolling turn blow anyway, so I think this might be fine. We'll play this and I will say go. Likely I will sacrifice it mid combat if nothing gets played pre combat. only matters if I draw the yeah, but then it's double good so yes okay no there is no death mark on top here There is the death spark.
Guttle Tide is very good. It makes me two blockers, which is about perfect. Too bad I'm not discarding a creature here first. Oh, that sucks. I have to counter that and then I'm still dead. So I guess I let it resolve. I need to find another answer for that. Three mana, and now I'm nowhere, nowhere near playing and flashbacking it. So I discard it. Is another answer. Yeah, the game <laughs> having enough of that song and dance huh
good enough. I think so. I think I should have done this earlier. Yeah, I guess this attack killed me. one probably mistakes by me the generator and the big guy are a bit of a prop but I do have answers so I think I would be fine Let's keep I think I like the defensive stroke as a draw, a reasonable amount. Oh, fuck, 
block that card. Um, no giant to reveal. Oh. Yeah, implement this. At least, I mean, I do have a little tiny bit of time before this kills me. Before this flips and then. This card really doesn't matter, right? Let's draw this card. Okay, so this at least disincentivizes the flip. And then I can maybe later somehow wipe the board. to discard okay so now we play this to stem the bleeding Stainful stroke to take care of whatever big spell they have. And what is more important, the mana or the. Yeah, I will do this. I'm sure, okay, I flipped it to draw a card. this and then we might have the serpentine to get this under control again it's not the perfect one for that but since we can rebuy it maybe it's good enough and now we're taking two a turn bad but manageable yeah that's fine let's cry it's not a land and really not what we want hex proof I couldn't have counted it anyway but we now really need the um, Rolling Templar. Okay, for 
this. No. One, two, three, four. No. What? Okay. I thought it was a counter, but this doesn't really matter. Okay, now we're taking three a turn. We still need to find the Rolling Templar to be in this. really doesn't do anything it could should just equip here that's an annoyance oh. no, I'm not attacking Getting back, even. I guess the gush. Waiting for the attack here, and then I will kill this. Beginning of combat. Oh, I need to play this faster. Three minutes to win with my daggers. Also, yeah, the mana situation was not how it's supposed to be. Okay, that's kind of good because we need to draw the Templar. Otherwise, we're dead and we're just dead.
All right, that concludes the stream. Too bad, but yeah, Wombat is very nice and I would love if he would win this. So yeah, good night everybody and thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching the VOD or maybe later a YouTube video that Max will produce. So yeah, bye bye everyone. <laughs>